today we're going to be reading a story on kindness. Oh, got it, this name, thank you. So today's story's um, name is Mushroom in the Rain. And it is by Mira Ginsberg and illustrated by Jose Arwego and Ariane Dewey. All right, so I'm gonna start reading. Ready? Here we go. One day, an ant was caught in the rain. Where can I hide, he wondered. He saw a tiny mushroom peeking out of the ground in a clearing and he hid under it. He sat there waiting for the rain to stop, but the rain came down harder and harder. Do you see the mushroom and the ant? And it went inside. A wet butterfly crawled up to the mushroom. Cousin ant, let me come in from the rain. I am so wet, I cannot fly. How can I let you in, said the ant. There is barely room enough for one. It does not matter, said the butterfly. Better crowded than wet. The ant moved over and made room for the butterfly. And the rain came down harder and harder. Do you see that? The ant and the butterfly under the mushroom. Niall and Sophie and Rhea and Saya. What do you guys think of that? A mouse ran up. Let me in under the mushroom. I am drenched to the bone. How can we let you in? There is no more room here. Just move a little closer. They huddled closer and let the mouse in and the rain came down and came down and would not stop. That's right, he is being very nice. A little sparrow hopped up to the mushroom crying, my feathers are dripping, my wings are so tired, let me in under the mushroom to dry out and rest until the rain stops. But there is no room here. Please move over just a little. They moved over and there was enough room for the sparrow. How is this mushroom making room for all of these animals and insects? Then a rabbit hopped into the clearing and saw the mushroom. Oh, hide me, he cried, save me, a fox is chasing me. Poor rabbit, said the ant. Let's crowd ourselves a little more and take him in. You know what I just realized? The ant is the tiniest one of all of them. And what a big thing he just said and what a big voice he has. He spoke up for the rabbit. As soon as they hid the rabbit, the fox came running. Have you seen the rabbit? Which way did he go? He asked. We have not seen him. The fox came nearer and sniffed. <laughs> There is a rabbit smell around. Isn't he hiding here? Do you see the rabbit hiding? You see his little head? You silly fox, how could a rabbit get in here? Don't you see there isn't any room? The fox turned up his nose, flipped his tail and ran off. <laughs> By then the rain was over. The sun looked out from behind the clouds and everyone came out from under the mushroom, bright and merry. Do you see that? All of them came out of the mushroom. The ant looked at his neighbors. How could this be? At first, I had hardly room enough under the mushroom just for myself. And in the end, all five of us were able to sit under it? How do you think that happened? That does sound kind of interesting and really curious, right? It makes me feel very curious. Quahaha, quahaha, somebody laughed loudly behind them. They turned and saw a fat green frog sitting on top of the mushroom, shaking his head at them. 
Quahaha, quahaha, said the frog. Don't you know what happens to a mushroom in the rain? <laughs> and he hopped away laughing. Do you guys know what happens to a mushroom in the rain? I didn't know until I saw this. <gasps> How did you know that? Sophie and Niall, amazing. The ant, the butterfly, the mouse, the sparrow, and the rabbit looked at one another, then at the mushroom, and suddenly they knew why there was room enough under the mushroom for them all. Do you know? Niall and Sophie know. <laughs> Can you guess what happens to a mushroom when it rains? It grows. What a beautiful gift the mushroom has and how wonderfully he, the mushroom used its gift to help all of the animals that needed some protection from the rain, especially the rabbit from the fox. Hmm. Why do you think the animals were kind to the rabbit? That's something to think about and talk to your parents about. All right, that's it for today's story, Mushroom in the Rain. Thank you, Sophie and Niall and Rhea and Saya for joining us. I will see you next week for our last week of story time on kindness on Instagram. Bye guys, have a wonderful day.